Have you ever imagined going to the south coast without having to pass through the ferry? The Mombasa Port Area Road Development Project situated in Mombasa and Kwale counties will be the first of its kind as it will connect the north and the south coast. The construction of this project began in the year 2015 and is funded by the government of Kenya and the Japan International Cooperation Agency. Tulikuwa mbali sana na maduka na masoko. Lakini sasa hivi naanza kuona watu mtani wanafurahia kwa sababu kuna hiyo tamaa kwamba kutafunguka huko na biashara zitakuwa uh, zitakuwa mzuri zaidi. The project is divided into three packages with the first package which is complete and running starting from Miritimi to Mwache and the Kipevu Link Road. The second package begins at Mwache Bridge, passing through Sunza Viaduct and ending at Mteza Bridge. The third package begins at Mteza Bridge all the way to Gibundani, totaling the whole project to approximately 26 kilometers. The construction of the second package began in March 2020 with the current construction status at 78.8% while the construction of the third package began in March 2019 with the current construction progress at 94%. Uh, this is a very expensive project because we have three long bridges the first one being Moacha Bridge, which is 660 meter long. The second one is Sunza Bridge, or we call it sometimes Viaduct because it's on a low area. It's 690 meters. Then the longest bridge across our waters is the Mutesa Bridge, which is 1,440 meters. The construction of the road between Mwache and Mteza will consist of a dual carriageway measuring a total of approximately 9 kilometers. With the long bridges like this, we have taken into account that we have to provide for the pedestrian uh, walkways because we don't want uh, pedestrians competing in the same space with the vehicular traffic. So we are provided for that and with very safe barriers. Not just guardrails, but concrete barriers. The distance between Mteza and Kibundani that measures approximately seven kilometers will include the construction of a two-lane dual carriageway, an interchange, U-turns, and an overpass bridge, box culverts, and street lighting. Additionally, the project has also created multiple employment opportunities to the area residents. Uh, I work with Fujita Corporation. Uh, I was employed as a forklift operator. So the more nearly work, uh, my boss are going to have good potential. Then, Nikafunzoi machine in Nikono Saizi. It's a telescopic machine. It's called a telehandler. Kabla umradi sikuwa na mahali mahali wangu nikuwa naeza nika chitegemea. Uh, tumekua na kufundishu hapa kazi. Sikuwa najua mambo ya labu kabisa. Hata nikuwa na fikiri labu na labu ni mambo hospitali. Lakini kumbe labu katika mambo ujenzi wa barabara. Kuna labu mambo unajifundisha mambo mengi pae. Umenisaidia mimi ya sapaso na as an individual career wise nimekua. Kwa sababu nimegrow experience wise. Then another thing katika maisha angu. Ninaweza kuji mudu kimaisha, so ni mradu wenye unanisaidia mimi ya sapaso. It will additionally promote trade facilitation, thereby improving the social and economic development of Kenya and neighboring countries. Within a year today, people will be taking this route for, whereby from Meditin to Kebudan will be, uh, be taking them a, a period of less than 20 minutes. The completion of this project will provide access to and from the Moi International Airport as well as the SGR Miritimi Terminals, hence improving the tourism and hospitality sector in the South Coast region.